Hey everyone, welcome back to The Local Youth Worker, a podcast brought to you by Reform Youth Ministries. I'm your host, John Parrott. It's good to be back. I know we've taken a little bit of a break, uh, but we're excited to get uh, some new content to you in this Season 9 as we kick that off officially next week. Uh, Before I get into that, let me tell you about some free uh, resources for you, or one free resource for you. Uh, We've just released a new Bible study, uh, Sanctification. Uh, Andrew Tree Triolo, some of you may know uh, Tree. He helped us produce this study. Uh, we're excited to partner with him. And uh, if you go to rym.org slash resources, you'll see our Bible study tab under there. And it is a free download, um, 12-week study. Uh, and uh, off the top of my head, I think we have, I don't know, seven or eight studies now. Uh, and uh, you can check those out if you have not already done so. Uh, but we're excited to get this new study released to you, and we're hoping to to continue to add to that. Again, as we've said before, our goal is uh, two to four studies uh, a year uh, that we're going to release and make available for free. Um, as we say repeatedly on this podcast, our uh, heartbeat is for the local church, and this is just one way we want to serve the local church and equip the local church with with free, and, and not only free, but just theologically rich resources. Uh, so we hope that this is a blessing to you and your students. Um, but again, you can go check that out and download it and uh, see if it's something you might be able to, to utilize uh, in your ministry. Um, also want to remind people about our Youth Leader Training Conference uh, that, Lord willing, is going to take place in, in April in Nashville. Uh, we've been encouraged by how many have already registered. Uh, we want to let people know that, that that's still open right now. And as we continue to say and get tired of saying, uh, who knows uh, what's going to happen with, with COVID and if we'll actually be able to do this. But uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity hopefully, to be able to pull off uh, this Youth Leader Training Conference. Uh, and we hope you'll you'll join us. Uh, it's exciting to think about the possibility of just getting to, to meet with others in person and uh, get to enjoy the, the sweet fellowship and, and teaching that takes place uh, each year at, at Wild Team. We're, we're excited that we've got a great lineup of speakers who have agreed to be a part of this, even though they know it's, it's up in the air. Uh, but we hope that that will be able to come to fruition and that we'll see many of you there. <clears throat> Um, so on to this season of, of the podcast, season nine, uh, the theme we're, we're looking at is, is biblical sexuality, and we will be uh, talking about a, a host of issues uh, on, on this season of the podcast. We'll, we'll kick things off talking about uh, teens and dating, and uh, we'll actually get into some of the research of uh, evangelical Christians and cohabitation. Uh, Dr. David Ayers, who is at Grove City College, has done a lot of research in this area, has an article in Christianity Today coming out, as well as a forthcoming book where he's really dug into uh, some sobering research there, and so he'll be sharing some of that with us. Uh, Rebecca McLaughlin will be coming on to talk about her her new book, uh, which, let me grab it here, I always forget the title, Um, 10 Questions Every teen should ask and answer about Christianity. Uh, that's available through Crossway, and that's coming out in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, uh, she covers a, a host of issues in that uh, book, but we'll probably be uh, focusing in on her content dealing with tran- transgenderism as well as same-sex attraction. Um, we also have Sharon James and one of her colleagues uh, talking about her book, uh, Gender Ideology, uh, What Do Christians Need to Know, which is available through Christian Focus Publications. Um, and we have Deepak Reju and, and some others uh, possibly joining us to talk about the topic of pornography. Uh, he also has a, a forthcoming book and um, has already released uh, a, a lot of content dealing with that. And so we'll be uh, discussing that as well as some other um, <clears throat> topics. And as we did last season, uh, looking at teens and technology, we had uh, some panel discussions with youth workers. And so we definitely want to hear from the local youth worker, as uh, the, the title of this podcast implies. Uh, we, we want to, to hear from those who are in the trenches and, and the issues that they are uh, dealing with, with, with students. Um, we, we know that uh, there's you know a lot that's going to be discussed this season that's uh, difficult, that's uh, sobering, uh, that can be discouraging, but uh, we, we hope that there's a message or a theme of, of hope that runs through the, the foundation of all of these, uh, that yes, what we need to as Christians um, 
uh, be challenged by issues in our culture, be aware of issues and not turn a blind eye to, to various issues, but uh, to, to have hope, uh, to see that God's Word speaks to these issues, that God's Word is still relevant today and, and has wisdom uh, for us that we can glean uh, to, to deal with these issues. And so I pray that even though um, that there's difficulty that we're dealing with and, and challenge that we seem every day we, we wake up uh, with, to some new issue we're having to, to wrestle with, that there is uh, great hope and opportunity uh, that we have as, as believers to bring the, the message of the gospel to bear in those various areas. And so um, I hope that, that you hear that throughout the interviews and um, discussion uh, that we have on biblical sexuality. Uh, so we're excited to get this content out to you um, next week. We'll kick this off officially with episode 321. Uh, Reverend Kurt Cooper will be joining us uh, to talk about teens and dating as he is uh, taught on this at RYM's uh, summer conferences as well as just in his local church. Uh, so we'll be discussing some of that uh, to kick things off. Uh, I look forward to getting those to you. I uh, hope you enjoy them. hope they serve you well. Have a good day. Bye. Yes,